welcome back to my channel in today's video i am back with another hair butter and if you are new to my channel you are welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video and to all my old subscribers you're always welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make this ginger hair butter so this is a ginger hair butter that is infused with saffron and lavender strands so i'm going to show you guys how to make this yummy hair butter trust me when you're done with this you're going to love it now you don't have to wash this particular hair butter out you can use this totally to seal in moisture and leave it on your hair as much as you want so i measured every single thing in grams because i had a scale and i decided to use my scale instead so you can convert this to ml or whatever measurement you want but i'm going to give you guys my own measurement in the description box and somewhere on the screen castor oil i used five grams of castor oil guys i also used five grams of almond oil and then i added nine grams of setu alcohol So you will notice that once I finish with any measurements, I reset the scale. So I went ahead to measure out my saffron and lavender strands. You need just a very little amount for this. I used 3 grams of lavender and saffron. So I used one third cup of water for this. As you can see, I used hot water. But if you're measuring in grams, it's about 42 grams of hot water. So I didn't want to double boil this or heat this in any way. That was why I used hot water so now i'm going to stir this so saffron is full of antioxidants you can actually add a few strands of saffron to your hair oil and shake it up and you use this to massage your scalp every single time so now i finally melted my butters and i mixed everything together i also squeezed out my ginger juice and added to this and i'm mixing every single thing together right now So now I am done stirring and the next thing I am going to add is my glycerin and I am going to add honey to this as well and after adding this I am going to go ahead and stir properly. now go ahead and stir 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 you can actually use your electric mixer at this point but i said to use this because this is what i had at the moment so you're going to stir this properly and then leave it to cool for about 20 to 30 minutes and then you bring it out and start whipping it up So you have to stir properly so that every single thing can mix so that the honey and the glycerin that you added will mix properly. So 15 minutes later, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and try to mix this properly. Don't be like me 
go ahead and get your electric mixer or whatever mixer you have and help yourself i don't just know why i started to solve myself today by mixing this with my hand so i'm going to go ahead and mix properly and mix until it becomes fluffy So now that everything is completely cool, I'm going to go ahead and add my oil. Now you can use essential oils, but today I decided to use my lemon oil. You can use peppermint oil or tea tree oil for this, but I use lemon oil and also I added my preservative now the amount of preservative you add depends on the quantity of your product so i already measured out my own and you can add between one to four percent of the total amount of products you have and i used liquid jama plus and you can also use ofitem preservative i also use that most times but surely you have to use a preservative for this hair butter vitamin e is not a preservative it's not going to preserve your products but you can add it as well you need to add a preservative because there was water mixture inside this butter and yeah that's it so as you can see the butter has become more fluffy and light it's looking so yummy it's even looking like a peanut butter right now so i'm going to wrap this up and put it in the container and you guys will see what it looks like at the end Now to use this butter, you can use this to seal in moisture, you can apply this to your hair as a leave-in and you don't need to wash it out. So this butter is also quite moisturizing that you don't need it every single day. You can use this every two days or two to three times in a week. I tried this out and you will love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!